The biggest difficulty I've ever faced probably relates to my mental health. So during the year that I was the student union's women's officer, uh, I was also experiencing some relatively severe depression and anxiety, uh, which obviously made um, organising with students consistently and also being a source of support for a lot of people quite difficult. Um, particularly the tension of uh, there being some days where I genuinely couldn't get out of bed, um, knowing that that meant that uh, I was letting down or it felt like I was letting down. So many students um, at a point in time when the university was finally starting to take sexual misconduct on campus seriously, which is something that feminists at Cambridge have been fighting for for years and years. Um, what helped though was the fact that I had a, I was surrounded by a group of people who helped me through it. Um, and if I learned anything, it's that uh, it's okay to lean on people sometimes, and that you can't always be Wonder Woman. If I could give my younger self some advice, it would definitely be to seek out other feminists and anti-racists. Uh, not just sort of like within my school setting, which is where my politics sort of began to blossom, um, but more generally, so I'd recommend that she read Audre Lorde and Bell Hooks, uh, not just because she'd feel less lonely, uh, but also because I'd have had a, a better understanding of liberation politics from a younger age. And that's advice I'd give to any young woman going through difficulties because um, women who wrote before us um, can sort of offer a kind of timeless solidarity um, and they allow us to, they take us on a journey with them through their challenges that they face, which might be similar to the ones that we're going through. Uh, they offer solutions and they also offer points of joy, I think.